Once upon a time, in a small town nestled in the heart of the countryside, there lived a clown named Jack. Jack was born into a family of circus performers, and from a young age, he was trained in the art of clowning. He grew up performing in front of live audiences, honing his craft and perfecting his skills. However, as Jack grew older, he began to feel a pull towards something darker. He started to become obsessed with the idea of scaring people, of making them feel the same fear that he felt every day while performing. He started to incorporate more and more gruesome elements into his acts, until finally, he was banned from performing at any circus or carnival in the area. Desperate to continue his twisted craft, Jack turned to the streets. He began to roam the town at night, dressed in his clown costume and terrifying anyone he came across. He would sneak up on unsuspecting citizens, leaping out from behind bushes or corner and scaring them half to death. The townspeople were terrified, and the local police force was powerless to stop him. They didn't know who or what was behind the clown mask, and no one was willing to come forward with information. The clown's attacks became more frequent and more violent, and soon the entire town was living in fear. As the clown's reign of terror continued, a few brave souls decided to take matters into their own hands. They formed a vigilant group, determined to put an end to the clown's reign of terror once and for all. They spent months tracking down leads and gathering information, but they always seemed to be one step behind the clown. Finally, they received a tip that the clown was planning to strike at the town's annual Halloween parade. They set up a trap, and when the clown appeared at the parade, they were ready. They captured him, and as they tore off his mask, they were horrified to discover that the clown was none other than Jack, the once beloved circus performer. Jack was arrested and sent to a mental institution, but his legacy of fear lived on in the small town. No one ever forgot the clown who had terrorized their streets, and every year on Halloween, the townspeople would remember the clown who had once brought death and darkness to their peaceful community. As the years passed, Jack's mind deteriorated. The only thing that kept him company was the memories of the fear he had instilled in the people of that small town, until he finally passed away, alone in his cell, with a twisted and maniacal grin on his face. But the legend of the killer clown still lives on, as some say that on quiet nights, one can still hear the echoes of his maniacal laughter, haunting the streets of that small town. As he town began to heal, some of the residents started to notice strange occurrences around the small town. Objects would move on their own, doors would open and close by themselves, and strange noises could be heard in the dead of night. Some of the townspeople even claimed to have seen the ghost of the clown, still dressed in his costume, roaming the streets where he had once terrorized the living. At first, many people dismissed these sightings as mere hallucinations, the remnants of the trauma that the clown had inflicted on the town. But as the sightings became more frequent and more people began to report them, it became clear that something truly sinister was at play. The townspeople realized that the clown's ghost was not just a figment of their imagination, but a real, malevolent entity that was determined to continue its reign of terror even in death. They tried everything they could think of to get rid of the ghost, from exorcisms to sage burning, but nothing seemed to work. As the ghost's presence grew stronger, the townspeople began to realize that they would never truly be free of the clown's legacy. They would be haunted by his memory and by his ghost forever. The clown's ghost seemed to take pleasure in terrorizing the townspeople, appearing in front of them unexpectedly and some people started to lose their minds. The town was once again plunged into fear, but this time it was not just fear for their lives, but fear for their souls. The clown's ghost was a force to be reckoned with, and it seemed as though there was nothing that could be done to stop it. But one day, a group of paranormal investigators came to the small town, determined to put an end to the ghost's reign of terror once and for all. They spent weeks researching the clown's past, studying his mental illness, and trying to understand what could have driven him to commit such heinous acts. They set up cameras and audio equipment all over the town, determined to capture the ghost on film. 
Finally, on the anniversary of the clown's capture, they got the evidence they were looking for. The clown's ghost appeared on camera, captured for all to see. They shared their evidence with the townspeople, and with the help of the investigation team, the townspeople were able to hold a proper burial for Jack. After the burial, the ghostly sightings and strange occurrences stopped, and the small town was finally at peace. The clown's ghost was laid to rest, and the townspeople could finally move on from the terror that had once consumed their community. But the memory of the clown, and the fear that he had brought to the town, would never be forgotten. The ghost of the clown was a haunting reminder of the darkness that can lurk within us all, and the power that it can wield over our lives. Thanks for watching. Help support us by subscribing and liking this video. We've got more scary stories to keep you up at night, so stay tuned and hit the bell notification.